China consumes a lot of chips every year, and many of these chips are imported to meet demand. But now in the field of mature chip manufacturing process, China has begun to increase its self-sufficiency. For example, SMIC has planned four 12-inch wafer factories. If all the factories are built and put into production, they can produce 340,000 wafers per month. How can these wafers play a role? As the demand for mature chips increases, can TSMC still seize the opportunity? SMICs is accelerating capacity planning. The chip manufacturing process continues to develop, from micron to nanometer, and with the breakthrough of TSMC, Samsung and other giants, high-end chip manufacturing below 5 nanometers has been realized. Especially Samsung Electronics, leading TSMC to achieve 3 nanometers mass production. TSMC has also made it clear that it will mass produce 2 nanometers chips in 2025. In order to increase the competitive advantage of high-end chips, TSMC has planned the construction of one chip factory after another. It is expected that by 2025, TSMC's high-end chip production capacity will increase significantly. Not to be outdone, Samsung will spend 450 trillion won, about 2.23 trillion yuan, in semiconductors and other fields in the next five years. Once all of this money has landed, Samsung's chip production capacity will be very competitive. However, unlike TSMC and Samsung, SMIC's production capacity planning focuses on mature processes, and the 12-inch wafers produced are mainly used in 28 nanometers mature process fields such as automobiles, Internet of Things, and consumer electronics. Specifically, SMIC has invested in factories in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Tianjin, with an investment of up to 170 billion yuan. When all factories are completed and the production capacity is fully loaded, the total monthly production capacity will reach 340,000 wafers. So many wafers are produced by lithography machines, and SMIC and ASML have signed a $1.1 billion purchase agreement for lithography machines. The purchase agreement includes DUV lithography machines and other types of equipment. According to industry estimates, SMIC can obtain the supply of about 30 lithography machines to ensure the production of wafers. Some people may think that 340,000 wafers are not many. In fact, each 12-inch wafer can produce about 500 chips after removing corner waste and yield problems. 340,000 wafers are 170 million chips. In terms of annual production capacity, that is 2.04 billion chips. Although the domestic demand for chips is in the tens of billions or hundreds of billions, if such a scale of chip production capacity can be achieved, it will play a very important role. On the one hand, the self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips can be steadily increased, and on the other hand, domestic demand can be met within the scope of demand. For example, in mature technology fields such as automotive chips, power chips and driver ICS, we no longer rely heavily on chip imports, and most of the chips can be converted to domestic production. In the long run, it can drive the development of the domestic chip manufacturing industry, promote economic progress, and solve employment problems. At present, TSMC and Samsung are striving to deploy high-end processes, but the demand for mature chips is growing. 
SMIC can start with production capacity and give full play to the advantages of mature chip technology. With the continuous improvement of the self-sufficiency rate of domestic chips and the continuous growth of demand, SMIC is about to explode completely. The most intuitive performance may be to achieve positive year-on-year -year growth in revenue and net profit. Just like in the first half of this year, SMIC achieved revenue of 24.5 billion yuan, an increase of 52.84% year-on-year. This shows that SMIC's decision to deploy a mature process is right, and it has already been rewarded by the market. As the demand for mature chips increases, can TSMC still seize the opportunity? SMIC is already seizing the market for mature chips and laying out a large amount of production capacity. In fact, TSMC has also begun to pay attention to the development of mature chips and will expand the 28 nanometers chip production line in Nanjing. But other than that, TSMC has no other actions in the mainland. Instead, the capital expenditure is inclined to high-end chips, such as building a 5 nanometers factory in the United States with a total investment of 12 billion US dollars. There are also three 3 nanometers factories and one 3 nanometers factory planned in the headquarters area. It is not ruled out that TSMC will build more high-end chip factories. After all, this part of the chip manufacturing process contributes the most revenue to TSMC. However, what TSMC did not expect was that the demand for high-end chips began to decline and the 7 nanometers capacity utilization rate was expected to drop to 70% by 2023. It has been reported in the industry that TSMC will shut down four EUV lithography machines. Obviously, because of the decline in the utilization rate of high-end chip production capacity and not many orders, TSMC has shut down the equipment. As demand for mature chips increases, can TSMC still seize the opportunity? I'm afraid it's not that easy. You must know that TSMC said that the mainland only accounts for 10% of the business, which shows that the mainland's business share in TSMC is not very high. Moreover, judging from the attitude of TSMC chairman Liu Deng in pursuit of American technology, he is vigorously participating in the layout of the American market and seeking subsidies for building factories in the United States. The subsidies that TSMC is fighting for have a stipulation that it cannot invest in the mainland's 28 nanometers and below processes within 10 years. This has undoubtedly narrowed the scope of TSMC's investment layout. So it is not easy to continue to obtain free trade opportunities in the vast mainland market and to grasp the outlet of mature chip production capacity. Unless TSMC waives US subsidies, it will not be subject to the rules. It depends on how TSMC chooses. Both SMIC and TSMC are the world's leading chip manufacturers. SMIC has expanded its production of 12-inch wafers in the mainland market and laid out mature chips. However, TSMC's choice of the US market to develop high-end processes will only be restricted by various aspects of the United States. I hope TSMC can see the situation clearly and make more preparations. What do you think about this? Feel free to share in the comments below.